So this is about the third or fourth time someone has posted asking to get rid of the dimming effect in the present windows desktop effect. Notice how uh, the window out that I'm hovering here is like normal looking and all the other windows are uh, dimmed down a little darker than normal. So that's what they want to get rid of. And last time this was posted, I uh, found the exact spot where it was and just linked it on GitHub for the person. But it seems uh, no one's tried to uh, tackle and make it configurable. So I figured I'd take a shot at it. Um, so basically, it's uh, changing the brightness. So instead of making it more opaque, which just makes it transparent, so it, it displays the pixels below it. It uh, just uh, changes the brightness. Um, anyways, so the interpolate thing is, this is uh, how far into the, the uh, uh, animation that we are. So it's gonna interpolate between uh, 0.4 and one, depending on how far into the animation it is. Notice how it kinda animates a little. So I looked up interpolate. I actually used a floats earlier and <laughs> it didn't work very well. So it's a double. So just in the kwin repo under the effects folder present windows. We got this here. And I just added another uh, config item. Um, not sure about making the slider itself, like in the config. Uh, I don't think it accepts uh, floating point numbers or doubles. Uh, double precision um, floating point numbers. Um, so. I'm just using an integer from one to or zero to a hundred, and the default was forty. So we're just going to divide this integer number by a hundred to get the uh, number that'll be used in this function. Um, so define it here. Then in this config, I don't think we have to do anything special. Or yeah, it it auto generates the uh, headers and uh, header file for this. I think I'm not sure. Uh, Qt is a little uh, has a lot of magic code, so just defined the double here, and then basically I used the accuracy. Uh, as an example, because it's got a slider in the config. Uh, if we go to uh, system settings, and desktop behavior, desktop effects, present windows. Uh, nope, don't want to see a preview. So, got this accuracy slider here and I'm just gonna make a duplicate one that's kind of be from dark to normal actually I think I've already done it Open the QT creator. see so yeah did it like this I'm gonna move this probably over here or possibly create a new little section underneath this but it's just uh, for the initial patch that I'll upload. It's just going to be like this uh, just to get a feedback on it. Um, so yeah, this is a slider. It's from uh, 1 to 8 and then that integer accuracy number is multiplied uh, where am I? the accuracy is multiplied by accuracy multiplied by 20 so 8 times 20 it's 160 so anyways 
So you take the number that we get from percent window config brightness and divide it by 100. And I'm not sure if we need that. I'm not sure if this is considered integer division, but I just use this because it to imply that it's going to be a double or a floating point division. Not sure if C requires that. Um, so did that, and then just replaced the zero point forty here. And now I compiled it, then ran it, and now let's uh, just edit manually edit this because I didn't actually install it because I don't want to mess with my computer at the moment or this is like my main thing so just added it manually added this line to Kwin RC um, and then I ran reconfigure effect so 40 is the normal if we do zero and then reload. It should look have zero brightness, but if we set it to 100, that uh, was configure effect. There we go. And this is pretty much what everybody wants it to be have uh, no dimming effect. And the dimming is because we have that. So. Yeah, that's what everybody wants. And I'm not sure if that should be default. Guess not, no. Because you want to have a hover effect, I guess. It's just for like the three or four people who want that. Uh, anyways, that's, that's it <laughs> for now. See you guys.